Well, hello folks, welcome back. I am the Custom Prophet. This is our England World Cup story, and we're finally ready to play that first game. We're going to be playing um, Neighbours, Wales, Gareth Bale and co. in our first group game. That is going to be an interesting match. We're going to have uh, to put everything into it uh, to uh, defeat the passion of the, uh, of the, of the Welsh and their... Uh, a little dragon this is quite quite impressive what we should highlight first of all is that the USA have played already and they thrashed Iran 4-0 so that's an important result straight out of the bag we need to get a result here we need at least a draw I'm thinking we should be winning this but Wales you know it's not going to be easy going against Wales I don't know whether that same local rivalry will be present in FM but you've got to believe it will be right set the team up let's get out there so the big threat from Wales for me is Gareth Bale who will be bombing down the right side so we have Ben Chilwell there to deal with that problem uh, we're going to be playing on a support role so we're not going to push him too far up we want him to be able to nullify the Bale situation if we if we can um, as a as a, in terms of strike force I don't think they've got the greatest strike force in the world uh, Wales so hopefully our center backs should be relatively um comfortable uh, and we should have more of the ball than wales do and hopefully we'll be generating the have the possession creating the chances and wales will be trying to hit us on the counter attack we'll see if that works um team that we're going with is kane up top we're going with a midfield of sterling mount and foden uh, across the middle is Henderson and Rice. Uh, Backline, Chilwell, Stones, White and Alexander-Arnold with Ramsdale in goal. Missing out from the squad, Henderson, obviously, um, Jared Bowen, Bakari Saka and Calvert-Lewin, uh, the, the three outfield players who are missing. Obviously, we're going to give them... Oh, just a second. Ooh, we, <laughs> we can put one of those in. Um, I think we'll probably place put Saka in there. So we're only missing two. That's good. Nice. <laughs> Otherwise, someone might have got really upset with me. So let's go out there and see how we do against Wales. Come on, England. Right. Probably not the right thing to be saying. Saying we should win it. There's a few people who were inspired by that. Right. Come on. Ben White's my little worry. And I was kind of wondering whether we should play someone else there gone with Ben White in the end right Stones has it at the back Sterling he's going to try and beat the whole team obviously that's what he does he scores a goal <laughs> oh that's lovely I, my, my biggest criticism with Raheem Sterling I think he's an enormously creative player but he does try and beat every single player on the pitch about 400 times but watch this when it works it works Maybe, because he's always playing as a winger, this is what he needs to do more of. He comes inside, beats the goalkeeper. We're 1-0 up, 10 minutes on the clock. You can't moan at that, folks. Well, it has been one-way traffic. Uh, England with 11 shots on target. No, 8 shots on target, 11 shots in total. Wales with just a single shot. Um, very uh, poor XG. It looks like England aren't actually generating really good chances. There's been a few of them. Um, but we perhaps need to be a little bit more effective in front of goal. Alexander Arnold is already looking tired. Um, I think what I might do for the second half is just pull off the uh, the pressing game because in this heat we're gonna we're gonna have a bit of a problem. So we're gonna go on the counter, but we won't counter press. Just to try and <laughs> try and keep some freshness in this team. Strangely, we, we've got a Harry Kane goal there somehow. <laughs> it's not, it hasn't happened, but 
we'll, 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 we'll claim it if, if, if you want, to, want us to. Anyway, here we go. Alexander Arnold, we've got a highlight. It's not been many of these in the match so far, but it's been all England so far. There's a decent, uh, decent effort, decent clearance, but what I have said, or what I will say, is that the two centre-backs have done well so far. And here comes Stones. Beautiful ball into Kane and probably should have scored there, but uh, just put it wide in the post. Right, a couple of changes here. Grealish is coming on in that shadow striker role and Saka is replacing uh, Foden on the right side, neither of whom have done particularly well. But um, I've been pretty pleased with things so far. It'd be nice just to get that, that insurance of the second goal. Arnold with the corner in and Ben White fires it over there okay so i'm not entirely i guess we've got five substitutes um so i made another couple of changes henderson's come off jude bellingham is on he's looking tired and sterling's come off and sancho's on so uh, making we've got fresh uh, attacking midfielders which i think is going to be a little bit helpful being able to do that What's what's so impressive against uh, Wales is that they just have not got a clue how to deal with our attacking uh, players. It seems, and Sterling at the uh, at the near post just pops it inside the uh, inside the net, and he scored two goals. Pretty damn fine from the uh, uh, the uh, the left sided player. Uh, he's going to come off now, so uh, good day's work from Raheem Sterling I think you'll agree Alexander Arnold and Grealish has got it Ben White not necessarily the player you'd want to have there but Sancho Arnold Kane got his head to it but just didn't quite find the uh, the header that he needed and here we go again but it's been a very good start to everything I have to say we have been We've been impressive. Bellingham. <laughs> what a goal that was from Saka. Oh, that has to stand, surely. It was gorgeous. What a lovely little flick. The ball came in and Saka just... It is awarded and it should be. Look at this. Look at this, folks. Just gorgeous. Bellingham finds Saka and he just flicks it up inside the post oh goals don't get more sexy than that folks they do not don't care what you say so we've got one more change to make we're going to have to make a change at the back because we are looking shattered um, and I think we'll bring Tamori on for Ben White there we go you've had a good game Ben White it's been it's been the game I wanted it to be. It's much better than I thought it was going to be. I'll be perfectly honest. I thought we were going to struggle. Uh, instead, we have been dominant. We have not given them a hope. And um, we've been good at the back as well. We've not really looked at all uh, in any danger at any point during this match. But uh, is there a chance here? Give us a little bit of a, a threat here. Roberts. But again, Bellingham does. That's what I want him to do. It's, it's that kind of shield, isn't it? Chilwell. Sancho. Grealish. Around the corner. It's Saka. And it's in. It's 4-0. Oh, uh, my God. We are looking superb. Absolutely superb here against Wales. I know there are harder tests to come. But Wales not bad side. <laughs> it's not a bad side. And if it if it went like this in real life, I think there'll be a lot of very happy people. Sancho now he's coming in. Grealish. No, oh, it's cleared. It's cleared. Is Roberts going to get there? No, no, he's not. Rice. Even with all the knackered people at the back there, no one's getting into it. The international management. This it's. As, as Saka is going to create a little bit of a problem here. He, in in FM, it is just not great um for many reasons it's just not a finished product really but there is no data hub 
there is no training. So you can't rest the players between the short games between uh, World Cup uh, matches, which is really, really frustrating. Here comes Saka now. Ball in. Harry Kane hasn't got a goal yet. And that's that's the thing that's been missing. Can he get one? Can he get on the end of something? And then an embarrassing performance from Wales and Sancho gets free. He's had a good game as well. Um, so, yeah. Was Gareth Bale actually playing? <laughs> Not seen him. What an awesome performance. Five bloody nil. Wow. I don't know what you do to this. It's... Uh, It's it's uh, it's fairly embarrassing for Wales, isn't it? So we've got Iran up next, who, who got thrashed by the USA. You'd hope we've got a decent chance of winning something, winning the game there. But you know we're not going to take it easily. We will we'll, we will be rotating the team a little bit. There's clearly some players here who need a bit of a rest after that. Certainly with the, the heat. In, in Qatar and Saka just the wrong side of the post looks like Wales are just I don't know on holiday or something <laughs> wow what a performance 5-0 victory for England against Wales I mean no goal from Kane second half was absolutely fantastic deserved it completely and absolutely Two goals from Sterling, two goals from Saka and a goal from Sancho. As I said, we are strong in that attacking midfield and we proved it there. Great performances from the likes of Henderson and Bellingham. Was, it was superb. Uh, Stones, really great performance in the central midfield. Alexander-Arnold, brilliant down the right. Wow, what a start to this. I mean, that gives us a damn good chance of, of, of being able to qualify after game number two, I, I think. So here we go. We've actually, against all odds, gone above the USA after match number one. I suspect we will be... should be beating Iran and, um, and then the big match to see who finishes top should be against the USA. But come come back next time to see how we do against iran i'm going to try and put these videos out every couple of days so join us uh, in the second group game against iran which is not too far away i will see you there please like the video if you've enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you very shortly goodbye